Hello everyone and welcome back into this new video of mine. So, uh, let's first start, ouch, ouch, by planning the episode. Well, it shouldn't be too much of a hassle this time, because today we are going to work on the iron farm. Um, because, well, uh, it's the resource that uh, at the moment we uh, desperately need. <laughs> so, uh, this way we, won't, we will be able not only to get our hands on a whole set of uh, resources that we need, uh, well, uh, mainly blocks that we need and for building everything, basically. <laughs> yes, iron is very useful, especially for redstone related stuff. But we can use the iron uh, at, the, at the forge for getting some emeralds. So yes, it's a uh, it's killing two birds with one stone. So uh, I'll go ahead, get ready. Uh, well, free up a space over there. I want I chose to make it over there. The for the time being, at least uh, the iron farm. And uh, we I will be back when uh, I'm ready enough. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Okay, so. I have a little bit of an update. Uh, well, it's a new day! Not only in Minecraft, but uh, also in real life. And I I decided to change a little bit what I was going to do. Uh, let me just uh, uh, gather up a couple of materials and I'll show you straight away. Okay, so I chose uh, uh, to start with, uh, let's say, a time lapse uh, rather than uh, so that you could follow uh, the process of me building the the actual farm. As you can see, uh, there is a, a house down below the, where we are building, simply because uh, I had uh, came, come up with uh, another design, but I I discarded it because uh, uh, after well looking. Uh, a little bit more thoroughly uh, within the farm mechanics, uh, I, the, the golden spawning mechanics in particular, uh, I realized that uh, that design was uh, simply uh, inefficient. So I instead uh, chose for uh, I went for another one, which uh, I believe is by Voltrox. I should uh, well I will leave my reference video down below. It's a modified version, not the actual let's say original one. Uh, I tweaked it a little bit to my liking. <laughs> in particular, I had to. I wanted to compress, as you can see, the the three chambers where the villager stands, the three wide, uh, three long spaces. Uh, uh, I wanted to make it uh, uh, well, basically a square to fit it into a tower, rather than having it uh, all outside. Okay, so uh, we are pre we're preparing the, the base part uh, where the uh, villagers and the uh, zombie will stand. Uh, after that we will have to uh, raise up the, the walls and uh, well prepare the area for the actual village uh, to, to stay into. Simply, uh, uh, we, it was quite a, a the quick process because we already had the, the villagers down below, as you can see in uh, the, let's say, old farm. So I just had to uh, build a dirt staircase and wait for the villagers to basically uh, go to sleep so I could break one bed and lure them upstairs, uh, which was uh, very convenient, uh, to say the least. Uh, and uh, uh, also, yes, it was very easy to just move the, uh, those uh, three guys upstairs and uh, to enclose them into, th into their new space. Uh, after that, uh, we will just have to, well, uh, first of all, we will have to build up the, well, the golem spawning area uh, above and then, and, and after that, the killing chamber and then just, and only lastly, we will activate the farm by putting inside a zombie with an item in, the, in its hand as we have seen previously with the zombification station so that we do not require any name tags uh, also because we don't have iron for an anvil <laughs> we are just specifically making this farm because we are lacking iron 
it will be uh, quite a conundrum not having iron for making the iron farm. Okay, so uh, now that we have all the villagers in place, we just uh, uh, have to, well, get rid of, uh, modify a little bit the border because uh, uh, iron golems have a very specific, uh, well, specific and weird mechanic in that uh, they can spawn in uh, with inside uh, slabs that are not covered. Yes, uh, it's a very weird me mechanic. So in order to focus uh, all the well spawning attempts on the platform above, we have to do this very weird thing with uh, the with the walls on the sides. Uh, well, basically here we are just preparing the area on top and. Uh, covering it with uh, water so we funnel all the the golems that spawn over there onto uh, the front where we drop them down below uh, at least 16 blocks uh, because if you didn't know about it uh, villagers uh, when uh, trying to spawn a new golem check if uh, within a uh, 16 blocks range uh, there is another golem and if, if, and if it there is already one, they do not spawn anything. So we have to quickly move uh, the, 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 let's say, old golem out of the uh, of that area and then we can take as much as we, can, uh, we would like to, to kill it. So uh, we just have to drop it down and uh, down, the, down there the, we will then uh, work on the killing chamber. Now here you can see I've started building uh, the healing chamber itself, so it's basically very simple. It's just a simple enclosure uh, in which uh, I'm going to put uh, some magma blocks and uh, water. So water to funnel uh, the, the iron golems through, well, to the center of the platform and then uh, magma blocks for killing them. Although uh, when I get my hands on some uh, nether wood, I want uh, to, let's say, Quote, upgrade the killing method to lava because it's way faster. Uh, uh, magma blocks are quite slow, <laughs> but uh, since we do, uh, it is lava, and we do require uh, some uh, fence gates, uh, which are uh, when opened, well, to turn, uh, let's say, quote, transparent, quote, uh, so that the meaning that they do not interfere with uh, entities going through them, but they are uh, much more luck friendly than signs. And well, it doesn't, they don't have to be flammable. We especially require a nether wood uh, uh, fence gates, which is quite specific. <laughs> so I, I'll have to go and uh, upgrade it off, cam off camera, that. But uh, yes, and after, underneath that, well, we, ha we have to dig a hole in the center, I will do that later, uh, where the items drop down into uh, the hopper that we already placed. Uh, but now it is time for the last piece, uh, which is uh, finding a zombie and taking upstairs. So here we are uh, with our, let's say, last piece of the puzzle. We already got, uh, got our hands on a, on a zombie. And we just have to lure it upstairs and quickly enclose it because I have already got a, well, I've already got a, a zombie previously, but it was killed because I was too slow in closing it. So uh, basically, it made eye contact with a, a golem that spawned, and uh, yes, it got killed. So I had to to get another one and carry it uh, upstairs again. But this time is uh, uh, the charm, so the third time is the charm, no, second time is the charm. <laughs> so we managed to, to get it inside uh, successfully and uh, finally uh, the iron farm is uh, working and we can uh, uh, close uh, this uh, timeless episode. Welcome back. Okay, so here... I've started the farm. We just now have to check if the iron golems keep falling down. They do. Look at that. <laughs> we got our hands on our iron farm. And, well, this is pretty noisy. I'll keep it on this side of the house. Which, at the. Well, give me a second. 
music. Okay, okay, so now you can hear me. <laughs> yes, they're pretty noisy. Okay, well, this is, uh, has fallen down, but since it is still outside, the range of detection doesn't prevent the golems from spawning over there. Uh, the, our first iron ingots, yes. Look at that. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, now, now we have a, a supply, a steady supply of iron. We'll just have to, uh, well, fix up a little bit this mess. Uh, continue down the, the tower, because I want it to be a full-fledged tower. So that it can merge properly with our, uh, with our castle. And that's it. So uh, basically, right now it will keep spawning. Even we, even when we are here, uh, we'll keep working, and the iron will progressively build up. So now we have a set of supply of iron, uh, and I think I, I am done because it took many days to record this uh, video since I've well I have been working on different things. I thank you very much for following me. I will continue, uh, well, I will fix up the, uh, well, at least the outer look of the, of the farm, uh, I will fix it up uh, off camera. I thank you very much for following me, uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, this uh, episode, it, it, it felt very productive to me at least. Uh, I thank you very much for following me, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!